Hello everyone. In this video, we will see what are reference qualifiers in ServiceNow, what are the types of reference qualifiers and we will see a demo as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. First of all, what are reference qualifiers? In short, they are used to create filters on reference fields. This is how a reference field looks on a form or on a service catalog form. I'll just take you to ServiceNow and show these reference fields to you. Now we are in ServiceNow and these are the few fields which are the reference fields like assignment group, assign to and caller. They have a magnifier button with them and that signifies they are referring to some other table. For example, caller table is referring to the sys user table. Assignment group is referring to sys underscore user group table. So this is how you can identify a reference field. Now we are bringing all the records from those tables. Now if we want to put a filter on this, that is where we use reference qualifiers. We want to bring only specific data set so that other data is not visible to the end user who is trying to fill in the form. There are three types of reference qualifiers, simple, dynamic and advanced. We will go through them one by one with the demo. First of all, the first one is simple reference qualifiers and as name says, it's a simple filter where you use and or or conditions to apply filter and you can have up to 13 conditions in here. In the demo, we will apply a simple reference qualifier on the caller field on the incident table to show only active users. We will go back to service now and we will go inside the caller field. I'll right click on it and I will click on configure dictionary. And we will see the type of this field first of all. So you can see here the type of field is reference. Next is it is referring to the user table. And now we can select which type of reference qualifier we can apply. So there are three options simple, dynamic and advanced. We will use simple and we can give a qualifier condition here. And we will just say active is true. And I will save this. Now only the users which are active in the system will be shown. As soon as it is saved, I will go back to the incident and here I will remove this and I will click on this magnifier button and I can see 639 records. If I go to the user table, I have 645 records. But if I put a filter here to show only active records, I should be able to see 639 records. So our simple reference qualifier is working correctly. Next is dynamic reference qualifiers. These use dynamic filter option to run a query against a reference field to filter. So dynamic filters are present in service now where you actually have to create those filters. And these are stored in a separate table. And then we will use those filters in the reference field. So these dynamic filter options can be encoded queries, JavaScript, script includes. So you can call script includes from here or even write your own code here and dynamic reference qualifiers mostly use dynamic filter options because they are re reusable so for example if you have created a dynamic filter option for one of the field and you want to use it again and again in some other fields you know that these filters will be used multiple times you can go ahead and create a dynamic filter option and in the reference field always refer to that dynamic filter so this is the best way if you want to use the same filters again and again. Let's go to service now under dynamic filter option and we will create a new dynamic filter option. I will type dynamic filter option here and we can see it's a different table says filter option dynamic and here we will create a new dynamic filter option. Let's quickly go back to the PPT and let's see what we are doing in the demo. In the demo, we will create a dynamic filter on caller field itself and we will show active users and as well as people whose current location is United Kingdom. So there are two filters now. I will give the name of dynamic filter here, maybe UK users. And then I can type a script here or even call a script include. So it's up to me. For that, what I will do is I will create a new script include just to give a demo how can we call a script include from here otherwise it's just one line of code i will create a new script include by clicking new here and i can say get uk users and i will remove this class 
because I don't need this I'll just create a function get UK users and I will return the query from here now I need to copy that encoded query from the table I'll go to this table I'll click on this filter and I will say active is true and location is United Kingdom and I will run this query and I get only one record so when we use this dynamic filter option in our reference qualifier on the caller field we should only see one record let's copy this query in our script include and I will save this as soon as it is saved I will copy the name of the function and I will call the function here and I will put these brackets the field type is reference and we have to give the name of the table which it is referring to so it will not be the incident table it is referring to the user table so we will have to select the sys underscore user table here I will select this and I will make it available for reference qualifier these two options require a separate video so we will discuss them later I will save this and as soon as it is saved I will go back to my incident table and I will again go to caller I will say configure dictionary and then I will scroll down and instead of simple I will select dynamic here and it will ask me which dynamic reference qualifier should we select and you can see there are only two dynamic filter options available and if you remember in that table there were multiple recalls so only dynamic filters where we have checked that box will be available here so that is this box I will just update this I will go back to this incident form and remove this username and I will try to select another user and we can see here only one user is available because of the dynamic filter we had put in so this is how you can use dynamic filters if you want this filter to be available multiple times next is advanced reference qualifier they enable you to define an inline encoded query or javascript or maybe script includes or maybe business rules as well and like other reference qualifier when the form loads these filters are executed and bring the records which match the filter next we use this filter when we require a unique condition that cannot be handled by simple reference qualifier so you always have to try to use simple reference qualifier first only then come to advanced reference qualifier and as a good practice make javascript call to functions in a script include I had just shown in the dynamic example that how can we call a script include from there in this demo we will create a catalog item and we will show all the windows servers who have SAP in their name so we will have a reference field in that catalog item and then we will have this filter I'll go back to service now and I have already created a catalog item I will go to that catalog item called reference qualifier item demo and here I have also created a reference field which refers to the server table if I scroll down you will see this reference field and it says select a server I will click on this and here we can see the type of the variable is reference and it is referring to the server table and then we will select advanced here and we can call the script include or we can write our own query here for that I will go to server table and as soon as it is opened I will apply a filter here which we want to use so class is window server and then name contains SAP and I will run this query and I can see we are getting six records I will copy this query here I'll go to the reference qualifier and under this field I will just type in my reference qualifier condition I will update this I will go back 
and I will try it. And as soon as I click on this magnifier button, I see only six records. So that means our advanced reference qualifier is working correctly. Basically, you should be aware of all these three reference qualifier and when you get a use case to implement, you should know which one to apply for. For simple, if you have a simple query and or query, then you can use simple. And if you know that these filters will be reused again and again, you can use dynamic filters. And if you have a unique situation where you will be using a filter only once and it is complicated and requires a script and can be called from script include as well, then you use advanced reference qualifier and give your if else conditions there and then return the query. I hope you understand now the difference between all these three reference qualifiers. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know in comments if you have any questions. Please subscribe to my channel.